Hi and welcome to penciling and thumbnailing out a comic from basically from the very beginning of the idea. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. So this video, I've done a few comic banking videos. This is my comic that uh, it's comic book number uh, comic strip number three. So the comic I've done before uh, video on I didn't show the preliminary stuff. I didn't show the thumbnailing to the final pencil. So I thought I'd do it that uh, that this time around. I would actually show you my the my thumbnailing process, my planning before I even get to the penciling part. And then I show you the penciling part as well. So without any further ado, here we go. So the very first thing I do is copy and paste my script onto the page. And then I start doing little thumbnails, uh, notions, little ideas of what the shots are going to look like. In the case of this particular strip, uh, the final panel, the joke panel, needed to be just right before I even started doing everything. It was absolutely critical that I got the exact right shot. After that, I blow up the thumbnails and I start working out the page. What uh, the very first thing I tend to do is put in all the dialogue balloons, put in all the uh, the, the dialogue, the, the text, anything like that. And I place it in there. I work out exactly where everything's going to go uh, based off of my roughs. Then what I do is I blow up, I, I take my uh, model sheet. As you can see, I put the model sheet underneath my drawing and also aside, beside my drawing. And that way I can get the basic proportions of the character as fast as possible. It's not exactly my model sheet, as you can see, but um, I do, it's a, it's a really easy way to get all the proportions in the right spot. Afterwards, for example, here, I needed to do a lot of research on <laughs> So I did a lot of uh, I, I did a quick search and this is the best I could do doing all the perspective doing all that stuff working it all out uh, there isn't any real details in there and when I did the perspective here I just l did a, a like a grid so that I could really quickly rough out what I needed and once again I put the model sheet underneath and I uh, worked out the drawing that way When drawing the, then, then I finish up all this stuff, do a f more tighter final pass. It's still fairly rough and I'm doing it fairly quickly. I, am, I don't really care too much about how clean the line is. It just needs to read. Uh, I don't actually mind being able to see some of the construction in it some flubs, some imperfections. I, I actually think that uh, that way the line gets a little bit more life to it than simply uh, being a very clean final uh, incline. Here I did a few a little bit of adjustments on, on some of the text. So when doing this particular drawing um, you will see me draw the hands and usually what I do with hands is I tend to really just most of the time take pictures of my own hands. In the case of this drawing I didn't do that. I just decided just to draw the hands uh, from my head. I don't know if that was the best idea or not but uh, they turned out looking fine so I just left them. And again very very rough stuff. Uh, this expression, this pose was very very difficult. Uh, very very not challenging to get right so that um, the whole gag actually read here I tried to uh, cheat I tried to put these um, uh, this pattern and make it work for me <clears throat> for tiles on on the floor uh, I decided in the end just to do it the old-fashioned way and do it by hand because I just couldn't figure out how to, how to make the darn thing work. <laughs> Here I'm adjusting the background. There was 
there's tangents going on that I'm trying to avoid making sure that the main pose of the character is clear as a po and as far away from the background as it possibly could be. And that is it. So that's the end. That's my process. I thumbnail things out. I blow up the thumbnails, put them in there. I work out the entire uh, page, the, the, the way that it all ought to work. And then I f do uh, a slightly tighter pass, working with my model sheets, using as much reference reference as possible uh, that I have the time to look up or find or however it is. And then I just do a slightly tighter, cleaner pass without being too perfect about it, uh, especially on the line quality, and I'm done. So, but uh, for now, uh, this is the comic, and I will talk to you later. All right, bye.